this this one's hard. This one breaks my heart. Hello there, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am back with a video that I personally love to watch. It is the five most and least used Louis Vuitton SLGs in my collection. I love watching these videos because I think it gives a real insight into what people actually use, what SLGs are actually worth it, and I suppose which ones really generally get left sitting in the closet. And I think that's helpful because these are such expensive pieces and I do have hoarder tendencies, so I can find myself sometimes buying things to collect them, which is is not good at this price. So I thought I would do my um, top five least used and top five most used SLGs, um, show you what they are and hope that they help you get an insight into which SLGs are worth it. These are all by Louis Vuitton. I've stuck to Louis Vuitton in this video. Yep, let's get into it. Before we do, if you're new, if you like this type of content, if you haven't yet, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you back. I film luxury type content and put out videos twice a week on collections, reviews, unboxings, comparisons, that sort of thing. If you do enjoy that type of content, please do consider subscribing, ringing my bell to be notified and giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this one. That would greatly help me out. Okay, so jumping straight in, I suppose we will start with a least used and I will go from... Number five being the one that I use the most out of the least used, if that makes sense. Working up to number one, which is my completely least used SLG. And okay, yeah, I really maybe need to take a look at some of these things. So at number five of my least used SLGs, I have the Louis Vuitton Toilet 319. Now, I didn't buy this that long ago, so I suppose I have to bear that in mind. In my defence, I would say I didn't buy this that long ago. Um, I have only used this once since I bought it. I used it on one of the trips that I've recently had to Dublin. I do love it. Um, I do think it's a great size. It is, I use a Neverfull for work. You can see that's still in it, isn't that? What else is in there? Oh yeah, some, because I have, I have used it once. Look, there's little evidence evidence people that it has been used once um i do think it's a great size i think it would be a great size if i was at work in normal life in my normal life and work when i go to work i would be in the office but i would also be out and about and i would need to carry more things with me in my workhorse never fill bag that is just filled to the brim goes everywhere but a lot of those things are in the office so i don't need to bring them so that's why i think i haven't really been using the 19 as much as i thought that i might use it Although I did use it when I went to Dublin and I thoroughly enjoyed using it. I thought it was a lovely piece um, to take with me. It's just that particular size. I haven't used that much just yet. Um, don't regret buying it though. Don't don't regret purchasing it. Um, still, def It's definitely still staying, certainly for now. Um, I do think there will be more use to come out of it, but definitely don't, don't regret it. Okay, so then moving on to... The most used and then the number five of my most used SLGs would have to be the Louis Vuitton coin purse. And I use it just for, you can see there's coins in it. I use it just for coins and what it's what it's meant to be for. Um, and I d we do use coins quite a bit still here. Um, although certainly at the minute there's less of them. And I would say that's probably why I'm not using it just as much at the minute. But that stays in my bag generally. I don't like to put coins in my purse. Um, I think it stretches it. It can stain it. I just don't like it. It's just I just don't like it. So I like to keep this just to throw the coins in. I think it's easier to get at them. This very easy access just to get the coins in and out. Um, and that would be number five then of my most used SLGs. And I'll just set it over here. If you do see in the background here, these little books I have linked down below. They're on Amazon and they're on offer in the minute at the minute. Um, the Coco Chanel and the Paris one, and I absolutely love them. They're always sitting in the background, just if anybody's um interested. Okay, so number four on my least used would have to be this card holder. Oh, I wanted this card holder so badly. And then when I got it, I just don't know what it is. Um it is relatively new. If you watch the unboxing, you'll know I haven't had it that long, but I haven't used it at all. And to be honest, I haven't even thought about using it. I, oh, I can hear myself. I haven't even thought about reaching it, reaching for it at all. Um, 
I kind of forgot I had it I, and that's just at these prices that is just ridiculous I need my head red it's ridiculous um so I don't know what it is I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet because as I say it's not even just I would love to say as an excuse it's because it's so recent it's not just because it's so recent I haven't even thought of using it I haven't even considered it um and I think even when I was editing and watched the unboxing video I think I was probably a little underwhelmed with it I don't know if it's the reverse I'm not the biggest fan of reverse monogram but anyway that's coming in at number four on the least used and it hasn't been used at all the reason it's at number four really is because it's such a recent purchase um and it wasn't I suppose fair to put it at the very bottom whenever it's so new okay Good stuff, back into the good ones. So number four on the most used SLGs for me um, would be the Toilet 315. Now this really, I, I don't want to cheat, I'm kind of cheating, I'm kind of cheating. Special mention, pro mention probably has to go to the mini pochette as well because if I was in normal work life I would be using the mini pochette every day in my never full as well whereas at the minute I'm only really needing this one whereas the mini brochette I normally put in it there's normally pens business cards business stuff in it but because I'm not out of the office I haven't really needed to take it so it probably would be in here alongside this but at the minute this one would be ranking at number um, four I'm carrying this in my never full when I am going to the office I'm also because in life outside of work I would generally favor mini bags I'm popping this in my baby bag um, and still taking it with me so it is getting quite a lot of use and if you see in here it has a, a mask headache tablets it has more headache tablets it has tissues it has there's hand cream in there there's I still use old-fashioned uh, plug-in earphones don't mock me Um, I haven't graduated to those fancy dancy ones yet and um, my husband uses them but I kind of find they fall out of my ear there's soothers in there there's the hand cream there's hair clips there's there's basically everything all of the, your handbag essentials that I would carry um are in that and I'm finding at the minute because I don't need the bigger one the 19 and um, the 15 is a great size and I'm getting so much use out of that so that is what that one is being used for if we pop it there and um, that is number four on the most used oh dear I keep looking at the least used and feeling a little bit of that sinking feeling when you're like, what have I done? Okay, so the next least used, number three on the least used, would have to be the six ring key holder. Now, I'm not including, I also have the six ring key holder in the Damira Bean, but I will link up above that. I'm giving that away to one of you guys to celebrate reaching a thousand subscribers. That's my giveaway gift. Um, it's also brand new and never used, so it would be in here as well, only um, I don't want to do that because I am gifting it. And the only reason that these haven't been used is because I have the four ring key holder that I just haven't swapped out of. I got the four ring key holder first. Um, I have to say, I think the key holders as a SLG in general are fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I This in no way reflects them. It's just I don't think you need three, to be honest. Um, I think if you get one that fits your keys in, that's probably all you need. And my day-to-day -day keys Without my key, I don't put my car fob in it now, but my normal day, to day keys fit in the four ring key holder and I have just been using it consistently. So this has kind of sat unused. Um, I do love the colour inside. I am going to keep one of the six ring key, holds. I'm, key holders. I'm gifting the Damier Bean because I didn't want to give you guys something you had to worry about this button that might need replaced. The Damier Bean has the brass and I thought that would be a lot more carefree as a gift for somebody not to worry about. But I am going to keep one because if, if we go back to normal life um, and I would have my car for all of the time, I might then rejig them to put it in the same key holder and I do want to keep one six ring key holder because you can also put a credit card behind here which you can't do in the four ring key holder but at the minute that is also sitting brand new and unused in my closet um which isn't great for these price of items and uh, then if we skip over back to the happier side of the fence which is the most used and number three on my most used SLGs would be the Victorine wallet. Um, I keep all, I just keep everything in here. I think there's some money in there or did, 
yeah, there's some money in there. I don't, as I said, I don't put my coins in here. If I ever get stuck without my coin purse, I'll put them in and I don't like it even as I'm doing it. And I know, I know first world problems, catch yourself on, but I don't like it as I'm putting them in just with the pink, the, the, the light pink inside. I just, I just don't like it. So, but I do do it if I'm stuck. So in there, I just have all of my cards. This is my day-to-day -day wallet. I love it. Um, so yeah, that's number three. I love this. I love this wallet. And I do wear a lot of mini bags. And I will use this in the mini bags. Now, if I have to downsize more, I'll go just to a card holder. But um, it does fit and it does work. If anybody's considering that, I do absolutely love that little purse. Um, yeah, that's a great one. Okay, we're getting down, we're getting down to the really guilt um, tripping here. So number two on my least used, oh, okay, is the key clay in the Damira bean. This is brand new. I have never used this. Um, look, it's still got the tag and everything in it. I have never used this. I unboxed this, and I haven't had my channel very long, so it's not like I'm saying years ago, but this was unboxed, I'm pretty sure, in one of the first videos I made. Um, and I bought it because I wanted some Damiera Bean print um, and I wanted a bit of a mixture as you can see Team Monogram over here. I love the Monogram print. It is by far my favourite print but I just wanted to, to mix it up a bit and have a little bit of a difference but I, I just don't use it. I, I haven't reached for it um, at all and I suppose a, it's another example of you don't need to. You, you don't need multiples of these things. I have the monogram key clay, which you'll see, and I use every day. And I haven't ever thought of changing it. And I suppose that's just a really good lesson and a really good example that there are a lot of these things that they bring out in different prints or different leathers and they're stunning and they look great. But in reality, for me anyway, my lifestyle, everybody's different, but my lifestyle, um, I don't, I don't really need to have multiples. I don't probably have enough use to use, use them all at the same time and I don't really switch out enough. Um, I have trouble working through and rotating and remembering to use my handbags without switching out of all of my SLGs and I just don't switch that much and that is brand new, that's never been used, um, which is a real shame. And I remember being so excited when I got it but it's such a shame. Okay, so that takes us to number two on the most used, which is great. I love this happy side of the fence showing that it was money well spent, SLGs that were worth it. Um, and that is, um, by comparison, the key clay and the monogram. Um, I have my bank fob in here. There's some plasters in here. There'll be hair clips, hair ties probably in there as well because they go everywhere. Um, and I use this every day. Um, I will also sometimes slip my car key fob in there. Um, and just grab it and go. Like it also fits in a card. If you're just nipping shopping, it'll fit a, a credit card in there as well. I think they're great. Like that's not when I say that that's the least used. It's because I have this. I think they're fab SLGs and I think they're worth it as SLGs. I do think you have to be careful with SLGs because you can spend a lot and detract from bigger purchases and kind of, well, hello, kind of almost waste some of your money. But I do think this is a great piece. I use it every day. I just have never thought to switch out of it. And I suppose probably because I favour the monogram, blah, 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 we stuck to that. But anyway, so we'll put it in front just to guilt me even more with the one beside it. Yay! Okay, oh no, so down to this, this one's heart. This one breaks my heart, not breaks my heart. I know, drama, drama, first world problems, but you know what I mean. Um, This, my number one least used SLG has never, ever been used. Um, And I've had it a little while and it does make me guilty looking at it. And it is this beauty and it's absolutely stunning. It is the round key purse in the Christmas animation. This was the Christmas 2019 Louis Vuitton animation and this is the Vivian Venice print. And I bought this because of the print. I absolutely loved last year's Christmas animation designs. I really wish I had got the Paris either in the passport holder or in the mini pochette. Um, the Paris print was just so stunning. I, I wouldn't rule out um, if I see that coming up on the resale market um, adding a piece of it. This one I just haven't used. I haven't, like, look how stunning it is inside. Look at the blue. It's beautiful. Look, it still has the tags and the price tags and all in it. Like, the blue is stunning. Um, I haven't used it. Um, this one I still use for my coins. 
I didn't intend to switch this one out for the coins. This I was going to use um, to put my headphones in and it probably is a bit tangled actually. Where is it? In the 15 the headphones probably do get a bit tangled and I should switch them out into this. I've just never done it and I don't, I can't really answer you why. I had to get this out of a drawer and that's that is not good with the price of these items. It really isn't. Um, I kind of also, I've had silk screening before on pieces. And I this is so pretty as well. I think I'm conscious I don't want to chip it. But then it has to be used. Come on. Come on, woman. Anyway. So I'm going to try to focus and try it. Because when I was doing this video and I pulled this out and realised this was my absolute least used SLG. I did feel a bit rubbish about it because it's so pretty and it was expensive for a little piece and it really should be used so I am going to pull that out and maybe switch out of my 15 my headphones and even some um more hair clips you know because there's not enough in the key clay in the 15 <laughs> or something put something in it um because that is just a real waste that that little beauty is not being used because look at the print on her she's so pretty I I've seen um on where we're we gonna put you on uh, Instagram this year's Christmas animation. I haven't obviously seen them in person, but they just they don't fill me with joy just as much as last year's did. I think last year's was amazing. So anyway, we have reached the number one most used ride or die. Absolutely love, can't live without use it every single day. Louis Vuitton SLG, and it probably comes. Oh, I can see my reflection, and I'm going to write like a crazy woman. Um, but it probably comes as no surprise, and it is the four ring key holder. I think this is fab. I see before when I just threw my keys in the expensive bags. Like, come on, you wrecking the lining, and you're anyway. Anyway, don't do that anymore. But yeah, I think this is great. My keys are in it. They're always in it. Um, I use this every day, obviously for my keys. Now my car fob isn't in it. It generally goes into um, the key clay. But I, I love this. I think it's fab. It is my most used SLG. I would, anybody looking to start a collection or looking to start an SLG collection, I do always urge caution because I think a lot of money can get spent on them that if you saved up you could get something you want more but I do think that a key holder is a fantastic piece to start I think it's a very usable piece it's a bit you will you it's a piece you'll use all the time and I think it's a great piece to think about starting your collection or to add to your collection it protects the inside of your bags it keeps your tea oh throw it down it keeps your tea keys orderly it keeps them in order it keeps everything neat and there's no sharp edges going along fabric or leather or anything I yeah I think it's great and this one um this is held up this is used every day now I haven't had it over the overly that long but it still looks like brand new um so that is number one on my most used SLGs um I hope you've enjoyed this little hello monogram family <laughs> spot the odd one out anyway um I hope you've enjoyed this I hope it's helpful for anybody thinking about what SLGs are actually worth it and what aren't what you would use and what you would um, so I do hope that's helped you I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do give it a thumbs up if you like this type of content please do consider subscribing and um, thank you so much for joining me thank you for watching I hope you're well I hope you're safe and I will see you in the next one